Okay, so now we are going to take a look at conditional statements in Sonic Pi. So to connect it to P5JS, um, a conditional statement is basically a statement that uses the word if. So if something is true, and we have to set what exactly the thing is we want to be true, if that thing is true, then it will execute a certain code. And then we can add something called an else, which means if this thing is true, do this else, meaning that thing is not true, do this other thing, okay? Um, so the way we're gonna do that is first we're gonna start by just making a variable. I'm just gonna call it n equals one. So then I'm just gonna write if. Now, since we're dealing with Sonic Pi, this is not JavaScript, we don't have to worry about parentheses. So if n, now two equal sign here, equal, equal, one. So just so we are clear here, one equal sign is a signing value, meaning I'm saying take this letter and give it the value of one. Okay. But with conditional statements, we use two equal signs, and this is checking for equality, is not assigning value. So this is saying make n equal to one. This is saying is n equal to the value of one. And in this case, looking at that, we know the answer is yes. So if n is equal to one, I'm just going to do something very simple, play 60. Now, if, <coughs> excuse me, is a block of code, which it means it's just like the word do. So if we have a do, we need an end. And in this case, we have an if, we also need an end. Okay, so I am going to run this code. And I get a beep. Why do I get a beep? because n is equal to one, and if n is equal to one, play this note. Now, let's just see, I'm gonna change n to two. So now I've assigned n, n is now equal to the value of two. This is saying if n is equal to one, play 60. So we should now expect nothing to happen. And that is exactly it. And note, we did not get any error message. Nothing came up in our console over here. So the program ran exactly as it should, but because n is equal to uh, zero or to two here, it is not going to play because this is saying if n is equal to one, then play this. Okay. So now let's add something else here. Okay. Uh, and by something else, I mean we're going to add the word else okay so and in this case I'll do sample I'll just do that choir that comes up okay so now I have a if else statement which is saying if n is equal to 1 play 60 if it's not else meaning if it's not equal to 1 if it's anything besides 1 make this sound okay and this is much better for music because we don't want nothing to happen that's not really going to make for interesting music. So we, we're going to definitely want to have an else statement here. All right, so let's see what happens here. Okay, so in this case, I heard this ambi choir play. Why? Because n is equal to 2. If it was equal to 1, it would play this note, but it's not, so it's going to do that. So let's try it again. Now let's make n equal to 1. All right, so in this case, n was equal to one, so it played this note. But if n was not equal to one, it would do this. Let's make n just equal to some very big number here. All right, so there we go. So in this case, basically, if n is equal to anything except one, it's gonna make this sound, otherwise it's gonna play this, okay? So that is the very basic uh, thing about conditional statements, right? So this is a very rudimentary, simple conditional statement, all right? But let's now, we want to make this into music. We want to have it be dynamic and changing and give us some randomness that we can use here. So I'm going to make a live loop. Uh, I'll call it um, random if do. Okay, this is where things are going to get a little messy here because we need to make sure that I have a do for my live loop, which has this end, but then I also have an end that goes with my if statement here. Okay. Now, one thing, the problem with this is that if I play it, it it's going to do it once, but it's not going to like it. So my live loop has to sleep. So I could do this a couple of ways. I could have like sleep one here and I could have sleep one here. Maybe I want to have a different thing happen. Um, I could take the sleep and put it here. So it's always going to sleep the same amount. Um, I'll go with two sleep values here just in case. All right, so here we go. 
Now here is the thing, this is always gonna give me the same note and I could go and change this to two. All right, but still it's not gonna do me a whole lot of good because I'm setting this variable up here, all right? So here now is where we can make it a little more interesting. I'm going to inside my live loop, I'm gonna say n equals. And now instead of just giving like one or two, I'm going to use this R rand that we had before. So R rand, and I'm going to make it an integer, okay, between one and two. Okay, so in this case, now n will always be equal to either one or two. And if it's one, it'll play this, and if it's two, it will play this. And then it will just constantly loop and constantly reset n to one, either one or or two. Okay, so now we have a little more randomness that is happening here. Okay, um, so I have that. Uh, I could change the odds meaning that right now it's basically a 50-50 chance. Is it gonna be one or is it gonna be two? I could make it between one and four. And in this case, now I have a 25% chance of hearing this note versus this note, All right? So then I run it. Okay, so this is a very simple way to do it. I mean, I could get much more complex. I could use like a ring here and have, you know, have parts of my songs. So I could do like, I'm gonna do this very quick eight times. And then again, I'm gonna need to end here. Maybe I play a scale. I'll just do E3. I will do Aeolian here. I'll do dot two. So now even I have more random and then I'll sleep for zero point five here, okay? Maybe here I'm gonna have, um, I don't know, like some different samples play here. I'm just gonna choose samples I know off the top of my head. I think blip one, I'll do like BD house. I'll do um, drum hard symbol. Okay, I'll do dot choose here as well. I'll have them sleep for one. And then maybe I'll do like four dot times do and end here. Okay, so this would now give me something a little different. Okay, let me add one more thing. I could now change this to if n is equal to one, and I'm gonna do this double goalpost thing. This is an or statement. So now I could have if n is equal to one or n is equal to, let's say, three. Okay, and then let's just make it a little, I'll do it between like one and seven here. So now let's see what happens. Oh, saying drum symbol here, the blip. Okay, so maybe I'm getting those uh, numbers wrong. Here, here's some help here. Let's go to our help window very quickly. Let's go to samples. What did I do wrong here? Uh, drum symbol hard, okay, that instead of hard symbol, and then electric blip, there's no blip one, okay, so do that, I'll just copy this, boom, boom, exactly, okay, so now we're in business here, okay, let me up the BPM just for the sake of time as well, I'll do like 120. Right now I'm just getting a bunch of these, oh, okay. Okay, so I got that going for me now. I have this live loop down here. Maybe I'll bring this back up again. Okay, I'm gonna maybe move this way down here. Maybe I'll match these up, we'll do D and D here. So let's see what we got now. So now I have two random things going at once. I have this choose random. Okay, here we go.
Okay, so now I got a lot of other random stuff. Let me just throw one more in here. This is going to kind of connect us to what the checklist is. I'll call this uh, Randy. I'll go back now to uh, maybe sample and do this electric uh, blup. And then I'll do R pitch. Uh, and here I'm going to do the Rand um, somewhere between 1 and 4, we'll say. I don't need to do dot choose for that, and I'll do sleep. Maybe I'll do 0 0.25 here. So here we go. Okay, I'm not crazy about that blup, but I'll just leave it for now. Maybe just amp it down slightly. could even take the R here. Maybe I'll make this rate. I guess I didn't really leave myself a lot of room there. One more. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so that getting to sort of the checklist I'm setting this up for, there is a random, so this goes through all the R rand, it goes through the conditional statements. We already know how to do these dot choose with scales and stuff like that, so uh, don't have to worry too much. Anything with a dot choose will count, but I wanna see using these three methods of randomization. So we have uh, the dot choose with a random seed, we have R rand and R rand I, and then we have the conditional statements that we just went over, okay? One other thing I can show you, so this is one way to do these conditional statements. I could make it instead of having like completely different sounds. Let me just show you one other just idea maybe. So I'm gonna actually make this not be the random. What I'm gonna make random is which um, synth sound I decide to choose here. So I'll do blade here and then I'll do use synth. Um, we'll just do like chip lead here, okay? So then if I do it. Right, so just to give you an idea of it doesn't have to be like all musical ideas. I could be like, if it's this, do, choose a random synth sound using this conditional statement. Uh, you know, there's all kinds of things you could do. Choose a sample, it could have a certain rate to it. There's so many different ideas you can then start getting into by using conditional statements like this, okay? So that is it, generating all these different random patterns using if statements, conditional statements, using rand, r rand, uh, r rand i, and then random seeds and dot choose to go along with that. Okay, so again, need at least three live loops using one of these uh, randomization methods at least in one. You could certainly add more. You could do more randomization within the same live loop if you want, but that is the checklist. And looking forward to see what you make.